I'm so excited for story time this week. We're going to be reading some books about bunnies, and the first book we're going to start with is called Not a Box, and this one's written by Antoinette Porges. It's really cute. Why are you sitting in a box? It's not a box. What are you doing on top of that box? It's not a box. Why are you squirting a box? I said it's not a box. Now, you're wearing a box? This is not a box. Are you still standing around in that box? It's not, 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 not a box. Well, what is it then? Hmm. It's my not a box. And there he goes off into space. So that was not a box. Our next book is Every Bunny Count. This one's written and illustrated by Ellie Sandal. Fox and bunnies like to play all together every day. Playing hide and seek today. Every bunny count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take your places, everyone. Ready or not, here we come. The search for Fox has just begun. Everybody. Count to one. We found some birds, away they flew. Every bunny, count to two. We've spotted something in the tree. Every bunny, count to three. Tiny creatures in my paw. Every bunny, count to four. Check the water, in we dive. Every bunny, count to five. Look who's hiding in the sticks. Every bunny, count to six. Carrots, we're in bunny heaven. Every bunny, count to seven. Where's that fox? It's getting late. Every bunny, count to eight. Sleepy bunnies in a line. Every bunny, count to nine. Through a bush behind some rocks. Every bunny, look. It's Fox. Now take a peek inside the den. Everybody counts. Two, 
two ten. Foxes, bunnies, one to ten. Let's play hide and seek again. So that one was every bunny count. And if you like this one, there's another one that's called Every Bunny Dreams. It's kind of the same, but different. We have that at the library. You could come check it out. And our last book for today is about a little bunny named Chloe. And this one's written and illustrated by Peter McCarty. Chloe loved the end of the day when her whole family was together. She called it family fun time. She had a father and a mother, 10 older brothers and sisters, and 10 younger brothers and sisters. Look at all those bunnies. Chloe was in the middle. One evening, Dad brought home a surprise, a new television. We can all watch it after dinner. Chloe was not so sure about this idea. Soon, everyone came to the table for peas, carrots, lettuce, broccoli, asparagus, noodles, and sweet potatoes, all their favorite foods. After dessert, all the bunnies crowded around the television. Everyone except Chloe and little Bridget. Chloe, you're missing it, said Billy. Pound cake is attacking the city. Hey, get out of the way. This is the worst family fun time ever, Chloe said. Bridget and I know how to have fun. What was this? What did Bridget find in the box? It was bubble wrap. Pop, 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 pop. Pretty soon, all the bunnies wanted to play with the bubble wrap. Pop, 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 pop. Can you please be quiet, Dad said. We're trying to listen to the show. Here's a show for you, Daddy. Grr, I'm going to eat up the city. One by one, Chloe's brothers and sisters joined in. Everyone wanted to be on television. Everyone wanted to be with Chloe. That's enough, Dad said. Up to bed, kids. The bunny boys and girls went up to their rooms. I wish we could pop bubbles and smash boxes every night, said Bobby. Good night, girls, said Mom. Sleep tight. Chloe fell asleep with her sisters, snuggled all around her. And even in her dreams, she could hear the sound of popping bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. Thank you guys so much for joining us for story time this week. If you come by the library, you can pick up a little bunny finger puppet that you can make and take home. Thanks guys.